Hi, good day. Uh, my name is Hallam Hope, and I want to share with you some information on something that most consumers really will not be too concerned about, but it does have an impact on them. In March, or on March 27th, 2015, this year, the Fair Trading Commission handed down a decision on something called Long Run Incremental Costs, or LRIC for short, interconnection rates. Now, that's just fancy jumbo for... Um, rates that relate to our, tra our, our communications, or landline communications, or cell phone communications, for example. As long as a phone call from Dinsel to Lime, or a landline call from Dinsel to Lime, or from a landline to a cell phone, cross those, the networks of those two companies, there are costs and there are rates involved. Yeah? So, what this means is that um, from time to time, the commission has a consultation and it arrives at rates um, and then the service parties and in this case, Caritel, um, yours truly Hallam Hope, would have a look at them and give us our thoughts, give them our thoughts and, 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 on, and see what they would actually come up with. Um, so they took a decision in March or on March 27th to come up with this uh, cost model and new rates which is now the subject of an objection or a request for a review by Digicel. Essentially, Digicel is saying that the rates are, <clears throat> first of all, too low, you know, um, and secondly, they're saying that rather than having a gradual phased approach to implementing these rates, the, 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 essentially what's going to happen is that Digicel is going to be faced with what they call regulatory shock. Okay, because the rates they're, they're going to be asked to um, respond to these rates very, very quickly, when it is, you know, and um, that that's going to have a, a very major uh, impact, the negative implications for their their business, how they conduct their business, their finance, etc., etc. So um, that's a matter for review. Um, now, most consumers will say, "Well, great, you know, we want to have uh, reduced rates and what's not, and perhaps that will mean that." Our charges will be considerably lower as well. Yeah, so that's one way of looking at it. But the other way of looking at it is that, to the extent that this uh, decision could have a negative impact on Digicel, then Digicel could well argue, well, you know, it's not only going to have a negative impact on us, the company, but it also has implication for our delivery of service and even the pricing and and, and competitiveness and that sort of thing. So if I was a Digicel lawyer. I would probably be arguing along those lines. So it does have an impact for us as consumers. Uh, while we all want rates that are lower, at the same time, um, those of us who have cell phones, for example, know only too well that in some areas you make phone calls and, and the phone is just searching for service. Um, so, you know, the networks itself are not as robust as we would like them to be. Um, the quality of service is not as on the ball as we like it to be and therefore a decision like this as um, you know as, as confused as it may seem to the ordinary person does have, have implications for us the ordinary citizen so I just wanted to raise that point with you because uh, this decision the details and uh, a lot of the arguments are unknown to the ordinary public they're unknown to the media um, only parties to this consultation have access the information and data and some of the data and Caritel being an intervener in this matter um, that is privy to some of this data. So I just want to share that with you because I think it's a matter that is likely to have an impact on us as consumers. Okay, so thank you for listening to this and let's tune in and see where this goes.